Welcome to this week's edition of the program Seat of Power, a program that keeps you abreast with the activities of the Kaduna State Government targeted at the socio-economic development of the state. In this edition, Kaduna State Government intensifies effort toward curtailing the spread of COVID-19 in the state. We shall also bring to you the commencement of the community policing program in Kaduna State, introduced to provide solutions to the security challenges in the state. Please stay with us. Welcome back. Since the emergence of the second wave of coronavirus, Kaduna State Government intensifies efforts toward ensuring full compliance with COVID-19 protocols to curtail the spread of the disease in the state. To this end, the state government recently constituted a tax force committee to enforce the observation of the COVID-19 protocols and road traffic rules in the state. The committee comprises representatives from the police, military, road safety, immigration, Castilla, civil defense, vigilante, and the Ministry of Justice, and that of internal security and home affairs. Addressing the members of the tax force committee before departure to various locations in Kaduna Metropolis, the co-marshal of Kaduna State Traffic Law Enforcement Authority, Retired Major Gerber Hiyarimi tasked them to work based on the terms of reference given to them. The government of Kaduna State set up this committee to make sure that uh, some rules and regulations are followed by road users and then generality of uh, people in Kaduna State. Not only residents, even those people who are coming from other parts of the country, mostly from the northern part to the southern part of the country, and then from the southern part to the Kaduna State and then to the northern part of the country and uh, this law applies to them as well. But if they pass Kaduna State, whatever they want to do, that's their own business. But in Kaduna State, we must make sure that they buy, go by the law. And one of the law is uh, in respect of this COVID-19 social distances, and that each and every one of us, both road users and any other person in Kaduna State, must use the nose marks or face marks as the case may be. And uh, whoever is not uh, using it uh, will be arrested and then sent to court for proper prosecution. And uh, also, you know, Kaduna State have banned use of Okada in some local government of the state, uh, mostly Kaduna town. And Kaduna comprises of four local government, that is Kaduna North, Kaduna South, Chukun, and then Igabi. And uh, whoever is arrested, either, even if it's not a commercial motorcycle, the moment he is biking somebody, the law assumes that it's a commercial motorbike and uh, automatically will surely arrest him, then hand him over to the court for proper prosecution. The same thing of the death shoot, you can see in most of our streets today, mostly on the big uh, cities of our local government of the state, uh, you see some people who are going on street from one street to another begging. The Kaduna state is against begging and there is a law banning such of uh, behaviors or practice 
in Kaduna State. And whoever is arrested also will be handed over to court and court will surely uh, act on the laid down rules and regulation. Also, um, street hawking is banned in Kaduna State as well. And uh, at the same time, uh, maybe illegal markets. You can see some people will come by the roadside, try to put their table and maybe kiosk and so on and so forth. Such type of things is also banned in Kaduna State and whoever is arrested will be sure that will be handed over to the court and court will surely uh, pass the law onto him and then he will be prosecuted as the case may be. The co-marshal noted that the committee will soon extend its operation to the 23 local government areas of the state. So I've just signed the letters to the commissioner of local government and all local government chairmen of the 23 local government within the state. And by the grace of God, my secretary is going to dispatch these letters today and uh, each and every one of them will surely get that. And uh, even one of the representatives from local government here assured me that he's going to discuss that issue immediately with the commissioner of local government and likely all the local government chairmen will have their meeting within the local government headquarters and then we'll come along and then we we'll discuss this thing so that we can achieve the government's uh, directives together uh, with them. Some of the people interviewed during the operation at the Kakure Axis expressed their views on the exercise. How is this part of exercise? Well, and I'm happy for this. Honestly, I love the way the exercise is taking place. Because due to the issue of the pandemic, so critical and so bad. And I love the way the governor has taken to make sure that this test has been a well known by health. And I believe for this action that he take is very important. He cared that he loved the state. I really commend this because Especially during this festive period, a lot of people have become careless. So this is like a reawakening, waking us up to take responsibility of our health. At the State High Court Gabasawa, the State Council, Ministry of Justice Kaduna, Sadia Nasser, said many violators were prosecuted based on their offenses. Violating the Motorcycles Prohibition Law of um, Kaduna State 2018, and for not wearing a face mask as per the COVID-19 guidelines and not maintaining physical distancing and also um, the tricycles for applying certain routes that they are not supposed to and not also maintaining physical distancing in their tricycles. They are carrying more than the required number of passengers in their motorcycles, also buses carrying more than the amount of passengers in their buses. During the period under review, the community policing program key started in Kaduna State, where about 271 special constables graduated. 16 people each were recruited from the 17 local government areas for the takeoff of the program in the state. Addressing the graduates at the police headquarters, Kaduna, the state commissioner of police, Umar Musa Muri, urged them to work diligently to achieve the desired result. The short constable, they have only one term of uniform that was supposed to wear. And the uniform is really... What of uniform? Black and black. Besides, they are not going to wear any other uniform. And uh, I'm appealing to you, you are no longer ordinary men now. You are well trained in all these offices. And whatever you do, you try as much as possible to do it within the ambit of the law. And whatever you are going to do, make sure you have the fear of God in your mind, in your heart. Because, because you are there to represent the police, you are there to represent the your community. So I'm advising you, if you are a Muslim, you are very good Muslim. If you are a Christian, you are a very good Christian. I know we're busy, we're able to go places. But if you fall behind 
all this we won't be able to go further. The Kaduna State Governor Nasura Ama Erfai, represented by the Commissioner of Internal Security and Home Affairs, Mr. Samuel Arwan, said the program is part of efforts to address the current security challenges facing the state and the country in general. You are our eyes and you are trained so as to enhance the internal security of our states. A huge amount of resources have been expended uh, to train you uh, in the police college. Unlike the proverbial saying, uh, whosoever that much, much is expected from whosoever that much uh, is given to. So much was given to you. So you should know that you have a role to play. Your role is to help the police and other security agencies in enhancing internal security of our states. We have come to a critical uh, point where uh, security must be participatory. If I say participatory, what I mean, uh, security agencies have their clearly defined constitutional uh, roles and the citizens too have a role to play. You can help security agencies with information. You can help security agencies by extending other support as you were trained in the police college. The governor called on the special constables to be patriotic and display professionalism in discharging their duties. And you should know that you are expected to be good ambassadors of your communities. You are also expected uh, to lead by example. Uh, the fact that you are constabulary constables doesn't mean that you should abuse the trust that was reposed uh, in you. You are expected to be civil. You are expected to be upright. You are expected to do all that is within your reach uh, to ensure that you play your own role in uh, securing life and property of not only your uh, communities or local government, but the entire uh, state. And on the side of the state government, we are dedicated to what we are doing and we will continue to do our best. I want to assure you that this is the first phase here. Uh, 17 local government areas uh, participated. The constabularies who pass out today are drawn from 17 uh, local government areas. I think a total of 272. So the next phase will comprise the remaining seven local government areas. So with this, you can see that we are serious. With this, you can see that we mean business, and by the special grace of God, we will surmount all the challenges that we are facing. We will make it, but we need to come together. It is only when we are together, that is when we can be able uh, to make it. Our security issues are critical. Security issues are not issues that we'll play with. Uh, securing life and property is fundamental because if there is no security, if there is no peace, if there is no stability, there will not be development. And that is why a scholar said security is development and development is security. Some of the special constables interviewed fledged their readiness to give their contribution to the fight against the insecurity challenges in the state. We train at police college and retrain us how to figure out the criminals and other criminals in our state just to handle them over to the policemen and prosecute them into court and face the consequences of what they did. Oh, I promise to give the best I can in order to ensure proper security in Kaduna State. Prepare to carry out my duties efficiently as a policeman in apprehending the, the, the criminals in all the nooks and crannies of the state. And I 
promise to do my best to make sure I enforce law and order within the state. Also, during the period in focus, the Kaduna State Government held an emergency security engagement meeting with stakeholders from Kaduna South Senatorial Zone in continuation on the state-wide consultations to find sustainable solutions to the security challenges in the state. The meeting chaired by the State Deputy Governor, Dr. Diza Asabwa Balarbi, had in attendance Senator representing Southern Senatorial District, members' House of Representatives, State Assembly members, local government council chairman, district heads, and other government officials. Dr. Adiza Sabwa Balarabi emphasized the commitment of the state government to protecting the lives and property of people in the state. This meeting is a continuation of the Kaduna state government's phase statewide engagement on security. We had a fruitful meeting with leaders from Zones 1 and 2 senatorial districts. It is our hope that today's meeting will achieve similar results in mobilizing and sustaining our collective resolve to address the security challenges, mitigate and possibly eliminate threats, protect communities, and uphold the right of citizens to live and pursue their livelihoods in an atmosphere of peace. On behalf of the state government, I wish to acknowledge individuals and institutions that have played positive roles in advancing peace in the zone. The security agencies deployed in the area have displayed admirable commitment. Their efforts have been reinforced by courageous efforts at community level. We recognize and appreciate peace building efforts in Zangon Katab local government, Jamal local government, and so many other places. I'm optimistic that other places and LGAs are also doing the same. The remarkable efforts at the community level has attracted the support of persons of goodwill from outside the area. We are grateful to Reverend Yakubu Pam, Professor Elias Boguru, and others for their contribution towards ensuring peace. We are pleased that the Kaduna State Peace Commission is supporting all these initiatives. Of security and the pandemic, for us, can be termed as a double tra tragedy if we do not take responsibility and do something. I call on everyone here to uphold and, and preach peace and also to adhere to the rule of law and also make a conscious of commitment to exclusively ensure peaceful means of resolving differences in our communities. On behalf of the state government, I wish us a fruitful meeting with constructive discussions and suggestions that will advance the well-being of our people. Senator Danjumala, representing the Southern Senatorial Zone, and Mukta Zakari Chawai, member representing Kauru in the Federal House of Representatives, speaks on the outcome of the meeting. But I didn't fit, and I'm happy for the initiative take it this way. And I'm saying this not just because of anything, because of the, the relationship they fell at this hour that it has come very, very necessary to look out for the stakeholders from Southern Corona. To govern a state can never be governed by one person. That is why you have commissioners, that's why you have uh, senators, that's why you have uh, members of House of Reps, that's why I have state house assemblies. These human beings help you look around, to checkmate, to energize, to provide all necessary requirements. Everybody sits at his own end to check precisely what are the happenings, what can I contribute as an electorate of the people to give as part of advice, what can I do to help the government move smoothly, simultaneously? 
But if you are left alone, you can never get what it takes to be in the government of the day. Uh, of some of these uh, violent attacks and activities in the local governments within the southern senatorial zone. And uh, solutions are being proffered right now as to how we, sh we need to do to get things uh, moving forward. Now, uh, one of the major factors that was stated, uh, the first one is to ensure the prosecution of perpetrators. If people keep perpetrating heinous crimes and they are not punished, uh, it will not deter others from carrying such uh, activities. So punishing criminals is very important. Uh, beyond that, uh, community policing, uh, local vigilante, intelligence gathering, uh, these are very critical. And beyond that, from a National Assembly perspective, it is important that uh, the bill on state policing is uh, uh, passed so that uh, during the constitutional review it will be factored in and it will be passed because uh, we all believe it is time that state policing is established in all the states across Nigeria because we do not really have enough manpower currently with the federal police to cater for all the insecurities across the country. So each state should be given the opportunity to establish uh, and run its own state police. With this, we come to the end of the program Seat of Power. Join us next week for a fresh edition of the program. I am Nurebele Idris. Same by for now.